Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here. And that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Hey, Beggars Henry's belong at the church. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment. But it's a Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. The 
Arate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. You're supposed to be on the gate. Huh? Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. I... Uh... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. 